Hello everyone, my name is Brian and today we are going to go over visit type codes and duration and also visit status codes. So to start, we're going to need to go over to our navigation band and down to the admin icon. And this will only be available for administrators of the practice or co-administrators. So when we select admin, the next we're going to go and select admin again. We are going to have to log in with our username and password. And now this will open up our whole admin list. Basically, this is everything that can be configured within the ECW program. So to start off, we're going to go right underneath administrator to user admin. And our first section is going to be our visit type codes. So what the patient um, is, is coming in for, for that visit. So when we select visit type codes, a preloaded list has is already shows up that uh, ECW has has loaded in. We have several options here. We can delete if we do not want that visit code to be there. I would not recommend this. Um, I would recommend keeping it in there and marking it inactive for the status. We can also go ahead and add a new visit type code if we want. But we're going to jump right in here and just look at this first one, which is an annual visit. And we're going to go ahead and just see how the setup is for this. So for the first one is the name. How are we going to how is it going to show up? And right here we have ANN and then visit. Then you can do a short description for in the list annual visit here. Your chart title is always going to be progress note. Now we have a section here where we can choose the color. Now we want to make sure we keep this as a light color so we can see any um, words or writing in the background of it. So if it was black, we would not be able to see anything behind it. So we're going to keep this at the same color right here. The next area is a visit type. We can select a regular visit, physical visit, operational procedure, and intervention. And this is going to um, act to basically open up what in the progress note how it looks. If it's going to be a lot of documentation in the progress note, which is a physical visit, we'll have the most documentation you can do. The next, we have all these options down here. We have OBGYN history. If we would like that to show up on the progress note for this visit, we can select that. We have requires a claim. This pregnancy visit, if we have that selected, it would allow us to open up the OB flow sheet. And we have several more options here, requires copay. And then down at the bottom, we have referral required, uh, just several options we can select to coincide with this visit type. Up at the top, as I mentioned before, you can mark this as an active visit type or inactive. So if you did not want to see it uh, when you're creating the appointment from the dropdown list, we can mark this as inactive. A few other features we have here, we have exclude from meaningful use reporting. We also have do not display appointments with this visit type in the progress note visit dropdown. Synchronize this visit type to patient portal if we have patient portal turned on. Medication reconciliation not necessary. If it's not necessary for this visit type, we can go ahead and select that as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this. Now, if I wanted to go and add a new visit type code, I could go over here and select add and then fill out all the information right here, give it a color and then click and then click save. Now I want to show exactly how it is set up for the duration. So how long is that visit going to be when we select it on the resource schedule? So we can go over to visit type durations right under visit type codes. And this can be chose by provider and also by resource. So we can select which provider we want to do this for. So it can be individually set up as, as well as resource can be individually set up. So right now we have this annual visit set for 30 minutes. So when we would select an annual visit, it's gonna take up 30 minutes on the time slot on the resource schedule. Again, right here we have 60 minutes. This will take up 60 minutes on the resource schedule. Now, if we did not want this to show up and did not want to delete the visit type, we could also go ahead and put zero in. So this will not show up on our dropdown for the visit type on the resource schedule. 
So next I wanna go over the visit status codes. And these are basically the codes when the patient, where the patient is in the visit. So if we go right under visit type durations, we can select visit status codes. And again, this is gonna be pre-selected or pre-loaded from ECW. Now we can, again, go ahead and edit. And with this trash icon, we can go ahead and delete, or we can add a new one. So first I'll just wanna check in and show you the arrive status right here. So if we open this up with the edit button, this is gonna show what our code is, what our status is. And again, we're gonna give this a color, preferably a lighter color. You have the options of billable or non-billable, exclude from meaningful use reporting, trigger demographic mandatory field check, which would be really used for this check-in status. So when the patient gets checked in, it'll look and see if there's any mandatory fields in that patient's demographics that have not been filled out. You can also trigger appointment mandatory field, and you can exclude from referral visits used. So we're just gonna go ahead and click save for this. Now, if I wanted to add a new one, I can go click the add button. And let's say we wanna just go ahead and add an exam one. So I can do EX1 for that's what I want my select my code to be. My status is gonna be exam one. Now I do not wanna have this color as black. We would not be able to see anything underneath it, any, any words or anything. So I'm gonna give this a light blue color. Now I wanna make this billable. And I'm not gonna fill out anything here. I don't wanna exclude for meaningful use. And the trigger demographic mandatory field, this patient's already checked in, so we wouldn't wanna do that. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and click save. And so now I wanna jump into the resource schedule to show you how this will, will show up. So if I click in here and I wanna schedule an appointment, I'm gonna select a patient. And then next we're gonna see, we have our visit type and our visit status. So with this drop down right here, it's gonna show up our list of all of our visit types that we had, that we had created and associate it with all the colors as well. So we're gonna go ahead and do the annual visit since we know what the duration of that is gonna be. And so we're gonna click this for an annual visit. Now our visit status is right underneath. If we click this drop down, our whole list will show up of what we have set up. And you can see the one we did for the example for exam one is there now in the white blue. We're gonna go ahead and select arrived for checked in and enter a reason here. And then I'm gonna select okay. And now we can see on the resource schedule, the color for arrived checked in and the visit status for the annual visit. Now you can also see the time frame that it's set up here that coincides with the visit type duration. And this concludes the short video on visit type duration and codes and visit status codes. Thank you very much.